Hello there and welcome back to Cory Loses, where today we are once again continuing our Fall of the Republic preview playthrough as the Confederacy of Independent Systems. In the last episode, we had an unfortunate ending at Vaz Pity, where our fleet had an unfortunate ending, uh, but we do still have Grievous's fleet and uh, I, I keep calling it Severance Tan's fleet, but she's a ground commander. Either way, uh, we have two major fleets left. We have moved our ship production up to Vulpter, and we're also going to try to take advantage of Foros for that. Uh, so with the unfortunate happenings around the rim, we might have to uh, start shifting our attention more to the core. Uh, I'm going to hope... That doesn't have any bad effects. Uh, what is this? Just one gunship. That's fine. And, but yeah, we're, we're going to start focusing a little bit more uh, towards the core. There are a few planets over here that we can reasonably try to grab from them. Uh, but it's mostly going to be trying to hold off over here while we assault some of these core worlds now. Uh, and try to build the rest of our ships. And, oh, that was, yeah, that was that was not great. Construction complete. But if we can, especially if we can divide this into uh, two fleets, two good fleets. But this is our first recusant dreadnought, which is nice. Um, I feel like there may be an attack there sooner than later, and I don't want to lose Newt Gunray. Uh, so maybe Vulpter getting an Ion Cannon would be good. But actually, if we're going to be attacking out, then it it shouldn't matter. But... Gunray, let's get another level here. As long as I don't accidentally move him to the wrong place. Let's actually drop our, air, or our space units there. Ground units there. And you can sit in the middle. Then let's queue up Hunk and Junk. Beep Boop can come back. Unanimous. Uh, there will probably be a good bit of building in this episode to recover from our our situation. I understand. But if we can get some raids going off on these planets just to secure our new territory, then I'll be a happy droid commander. Alright, let's get those so they can drop. Get some HMPs. Grievous, you can come in. Sora, you can come in. And I think this... Yeah, let's get Persuaders. Without the speed buff, I'm not going to use too much of the Magnus. Sora off to the western reinforcement point. And I guess we'll just kill these allied, or these enemy civilians. Ah! The stupid... Oh, I was hoping we could get him in close enough to actually shut down the turret, but the stupid rapid fire bullshit. That's not good. I'm not pleased. I'm not even sure why that happens. I think it might be because there's a duplicated hard point or something, but it is not intentional. All right, uh, HMPs. We may have to go with that. Are you getting the A turret? No. Yeah. We'll just hold off here until we can at least take down the turrets or the uh, the power gen with this. I 
At least their garrisons will be gone in a second. So we can kill as many of the anachronistic ATSTs as we need to. And come down the road, block them off. Alright, you should be able to... Nope, 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 nope. You can't do that. Alright. Alright, looks like we're going to hold off the onslaught of enemy forces here then. And can we hit that with that? There. Now as long as we don't go directly under the guns, we should be fine. But we'll get an orbital bombardment. And... Yeah. Let's still destroy it just so we don't go under the turret and get shot. Uh, get some hail fires. Grievous, run on over here. Run over them. Do what you gotta do. It's not illegal. Uh, super battle droids. Alright, bombardment onto their Senate office. Forgot which faction we were for a second. Get out of there, Grievous. And just a solo trooper over there. Alright. Poor Sora. He's a Jedi traitor though, so... I don't feel that bad for him. What do they still have? Unless it's just counting the turrets. It might be counting the turrets. So, well, let's kill that one. If you guys... Okay, you can hit it from here. That's helpful. There we go. Oh, there might have been uh, another infantry hiding somewhere. What do we get? Cymerth... Grievous, pop back into space. And... Centaurs, we have mines here, right? Yes. Building under construction. I think this was before I did the changes that gave extra influence for... Um, for the space trade stations. Let's throw in a pretty lady and a capital shipyard. All right, you are hail fires. You belong on the ground. Constructing. Heading out. And let's split up this fleet a little bit. Uh, we're using dreadnoughts, so you probably can just grab some of these and a probably not buildable in game. Construction complete. All right, and uh, the subjugators will also need. I mentioned this last episode about the praetors, but the subjugators will also need the level four shipyards. Uh, 
I am kind of worried about letting them have this much time to build up, but it seems to be helping us more than them right now. They are kind of split up still. Or no, they're not split up, but they're they're lacking in a lot of capital ship facilities at this point. Dathomir, Qtrick, and they have a couple in the core. So if we could actually take Rendili, Humbreen, and Kuat, not even necessarily take them, just hit the space facilities there, that would be pretty huge. The enemy fleet is about to invade Kashyyyk. You should know better. They want to be our friends. Well, they seem to be okay with this, so... Um, what are we looking like here? 50%? I won't immediately rebuild Atropa. I'm going to try to build some of the ships that we haven't used yet. Uh, so especially the Lucre Hulks. They've been on the build bar for a while. Let's see what they actually use against. Oh, they have Contram as well. Uh, is this 60%. Oh, we got there right at the same time. Four Praetors. Even just the fighters from this, I'm going to want to run. Maybe we should throw the recusant battleships in here. Okay, let's see if they decide to stay. You going to split up? That would be appreciated. We'll just have a, a pure recusant fleet. Well, if we need to retreat... We don't need engines. So we can try to hit this from afar. First one is at half shields for us. Like this is in no way a fair fight. Direct fire at their lane. Yeah, they're cheating. Bringing better ships to the battle than we are. All right, we're starting to lose hard points. Yeah, let's let's not give this fleet up. I don't think we'll have lost anything there, but we didn't get anything either. <laughs> I think with the Wookiees, we have a chance to hold it, but I will build some stuff to help with that. We'll be we finished the capital shipyard after we finish some of these ships, so we can pop a few other things in here. Uh, capital shipyard, let's get Fury. And I'm just going to raid. Oh, let's go to Namkorios. Namkorios, Beldron, and Renvar are relatively low defenses. Enemy fleet, Enemy fleet heading for Fondor. Alright, Namkorios, they don't have any Praetors, just Venators. That's scary. But is it scary? Yeah, it's kind of scary. Uh, hmm. We 
Pretty good province. Roger Dodger. Even worse pathfinding. Flying potato. And our auxilia. Okay, are you actually going to come out to us? Yeah, some of you are. Ready. I do think this is a battle that we can win. But... I am a little worried. There's a lot of bombers. Actually, you know what? I'm not comfortable with this. I don't want to risk any more fleets right now. I'd rather not have to combine anything, but maybe those fleets that are or the three recusants we retreated at the end of last episode. If they can get into Grievous' fleet, we'll at least have a bit more support for him. Okay, well, you guys go back to Roche. And... Construction complete. What else was it doing? This. Construction options available. New construction options available. We are at Era 4. Nice. Or not Era 4, but... Uh, we're at year two of the Clone Wars. All right, we have our shipyard up. So capital ship wise, let's get, uh, first let's get Visible Hand. So I don't think we've used that yet. We'll get Thunder Child back, but not quite yet. And I think we can get few more. Uh, Camp Jupiter. Ooh woo. Uh, can we take out Contrum or something? It looks like they're making their way into some of the Trade Federation territory. Well, you know what? Here. Never mind. Not here. Gravity control generator okay, this fleet, we're going to split them up a bit. I do want to just hit a bunch of capital shipyards. You're going to be ready... I think, yeah, as soon as Vaulter finishes this first one, we're going to be okay. Uh, what do they got? A lot of stuff, but we got a lot of Wookiees. Alright, Wookiees. Do what you were born to do. Defend Kashyyyk for the CIS. They don't necessarily need to pass that. I'm just going to get one of our droid things to head there. B1s. Not battle dragons. And yeah, so we're going to hold this reinforcement point to the best of our abilities while trying to take over this next one from the CI or from the Republic. Same strategy as last time, pretty much. Build one there just in case they try to get through. Alright, get to the turn or get to the build 
to the drop zone before they do anything. Alright, they've lost their landing zone. Try to run over the rest of the arcs. They should probably be made not crushable by super crushers, but. Alright, Wookiees, good job. We just gotta stop them from taking over another landing zone. And we got a couple squads of Wookiees here as well. Alright, if we can even get uh, one or two more structures here, I think that'll be worth stopping them from taking the planet. Here, no Wookiees. And Oh, are they going for another landing zone here? You dicks. Alright, you guys are fine. There's nothing in between them. We need to get all the Wookiees back here. Crap. Alright, they no longer control it, but since they dropped everything at once... It will take a second. Nope, kill that first. Artillery. Wow. The Republic is just nuking the Wookiees. They should know better. Right. Are they going to orbitally bombard the Wookiees? That is the real question. Okay, that almost went really poorly. I didn't think they'd get that landing zone. Uh, but they didn't, so... Let's get a heavy factory. You know what, they probably won't invade for a little while, so... I'm willing to put some money on that. Let's see how they're doing at Rendilly. Cruiser reporting. Construction complete. Uh, what's this pop cap looking like? 75. Once they're at 120, I'm going to split everything off and do its own fleet. So we're only going to have about 120 per fleet. And I'm hopefully going to be able to keep things going like that. All right, they have an invincible, uh, but it doesn't look like it's a huge stack, so... All right, this is, this is not bad. Pretty lady. Destroy the structure. Where's K stuck with Bob? Uh, 
Uh, droids are overrated. And what's this last one? Clone Canceller. Really just need to destroy the shipyard. Uh, they don't have a lot here that they're going to hold on to. Like, we can pretty quickly destroy a lot of this. There we go, and there we go. Like, they'll probably retreat pretty quickly. A 979. Alright, uh... Here goes the Venators. Alright, don't go too close to the Valadusia. They may not, like, they didn't retreat last time super quickly They had when they had the Valadusia. They also had the transports, which I, they have some here. All right. Uh, see if we can grab that then. Okay, kill the Y-Wings. Bombers. I suppose we should start getting some shots off on the Valadusia just in case. You guys, I told you to go down here. Mm, yeah. Okay, vultures. Y wings have to be the top priority for them. Uh, actually, no. But we'll keep the the tri droids on Arth 170s. There's some Tie series there as well. I believe these are the precursor ties. I don't think that's a. I don't think those are misplaced Imperial ones. They could be, but Nolan has actually been going through and getting a lot of those that are left over uh, in the last little while so there shouldn't be too many of those left but this is also uh, we're playing a fairly old version at this point really because even just the very quick beta period we've had so far has had a lot of changes and improvements going over it so yeah pretty sure that's a tie series Okay, cool, 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 cool. Pretty sure this Carrick was also just a garrison, so that's good. Nothing of consequence got away. I don't think we lost too much there either. Just be one party bus. 1,500 credits. Uh, so, Newt, you are going to get us Cato Neomoidia. And we just have Shadow of Intent and Homer's Revenge left for the Lucre Hulks. Corellia. If we can just take out all their shipyards right now, uh, at least all the core ones, that's going to cut anything that they were producing, anything they had queued up. Uh, they'll have to rebuild the stations. Oh, this is great. Iron Away. Providence Carrier, Corrin's Revenge. The I think some of these are supposed to be Dreadnoughts, but that might be all in the other fleet. I'm not 100% sure. All right, actually, focus on this station first. That's fair. Okay, some ground units are here, but they're going to be gone. I could actually drop some space units over, or even just some ground units over the planets that we're raiding. Mm. 
Yeah, let's do that. You have mines, don't you? You do. Uh, where do we want other mines then? Camino? Oh, we actually were, were maxed out for mines. So that's... That's good. Leave you there. Up you. Oh, that is not what I intended to do. Move you here. And up. Oh. Yeah. There. Duro's not really a shipyard, but this is how they're getting access to like Fondor and stuff. So we can block this off and then go north, uh, and we can just build a third core fleet here because we're about to max out uh, these two. And let's just take the station. And if we can kill the... Uh, some of these smaller ships, then great. If we can't, then whatever. Taking fire. Commander, they're hitting us. Where'd he go? Nowhere to run. Falling out of formation. Uh bring them on. Draw them fire. And ready. Attack formation. Go after the stragglers. All right, you at least got the Carrix, you got Narcotens. Because this is going to stop them from being able to put together any more of their fleets, too. One of the good things, I guess, for us about hitting the core is that it's just that one main line of planets. Uh, so it, it it shouldn't be too hard to figure out a way to set some of this up. But Humberine is next. Star Destroyer reporting in. Ooh. Humberine is gonna be a tougher one. But we if we have to go back to Kuat, then like, we still hit a good part of their production. We took a good bit of the core, effectively. Ooh, we don't even have to worry about that. Nice. All right, let's, uh, let's take out the shipyard before anything else gets in. Right, this should be enough. And if we can even just take out the shipyard and leave, then that would be enough, but I'm pretty sure we can handle this fleet. Yeah, this is nothing. It's a lot of ground units. A lot of their space forces seem to have been distributed. Uh, we might lose droids are overrated here. But, oh, no, your shields are coming. Dual heavy turbos. All right, nice. As long as that stays in the back, then I think we're good. Do we have any gunships? Some, but not enough to do what they did at Boz Pity. I'm just going to fly Ion away straight through them. Apparently I'm going to send my fighters straight through them as well. Oh, 
Good, 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 good. One last Carrick if we can. No, not gonna make it. Oh well. We've taken out all their shipyards. Uh, we've hit a, a couple units to do it, but. Let's get just some battle droids. On the Humberine. Actually. Some nice Bantam era scale garrisons. Uh, oh, sorry, Rendili is the one there. We didn't actually hit Kuat yet. Uh, and I don't know if we will. Well, actually, if we take Deco, Deco, then we can hit Kuat after. But we'll probably wait on some more ships for that. Uh, so let's start off. Let's newt back. Oh. There we go. Where are you coming from? Oh, Cato Neomoidia. They took it from... Oh. Uh, this is always the downside of using this strategy, but whatever. Homer's Revenge... Go to Kato. So we will do Kato, Deco, and Kua. And that'll probably protect the Trade Federation planets a bit more as well. So that's all good. Uh, I don't know. There, I thought there was a Venator here, but it might just be hidden. Okay, this is yeah. There is a vendor in there. Coming about. All right, let's turn her around and kill some of these smaller ships. They're nope, they're leaving. Right move, but would have liked to kill your stuff a bit. We may be ill-equipped to handle the stacks of small ships. About to invade Roche. Uh... Have they abandoned Kashyyyk? They have. Uh, well, we'll see what they end up sending. That fleet probably just retreated to Deco. The enemy has been spotted. Deco. Alright. Uh, most of these aren't actually gunships. So... Let's see if we can... Take out some of their stuff while we're here then. Get some actual losses on their side. Where I don't think we're going to be at risk of losing anything major. And you can get up here. Hunk of junk or some old, some guy. Some guy Luke. Venators first. Uh, ooh. Fighters. Kill those Y-Wings. 
And I'm actually going to put two of the recusants on anti-fighter duty. Bombers on there. More enemy Weapons are taking fire. I got it. Commander, they're hitting us. Direct fire. Dreadnoughts. Getting a lock. Intercepting. All right, let's get uh, let's get some of these DP20s if we can. Before they end up in another fleet that's going to take down an, another subjugator. And hopefully I'm not getting too cocky with this. I don't think I am. I think this is just a kill zone fleet right now. Or a battle that is just a kill zone for us right now. Alright. I think we got a, a couple losses on him there. They get out with a couple. Yeah, yeah, we got, I think, four or five at least. FX rework is going to be underway soon. Just looking at the explosions reminding me of that. All right, let's actually see whether we've made any appreciable dent here. No, we haven't. We've gone up a bit. They've kind of... We have any that are two, yes. And all right, with this, this fleet is ready to do something. It's going to hit Coruscant for sure. Where are you coming from, Fondor? Maybe. Alright, let's actually drop them onto Humberine for now. is not a fleet we can beat. Okay, seven Venators, five Invincibles, three Praetors. All this work to get rid of their capital shipyards, they're just trying to send a message now. All right, if you really want Roche, you can have it for now. But once we have two or three fleets in the core, that can basically do what we've been doing. It's going to be a lot easier for us to make advances. It'll be harder for them to have fleets like that that are just moving through these northern parts. Um, but... Get you there. Let's get to Fondor with the rest. Alright, that'll be two Lucra Hawks in this fleet. Let's also get Free Trade, Artist Accord, Revenge Revenge, Jedi Hunter, and we'll see what's actually here. We've got them. Send reinforcements. Yeah, so I think there's a bunch of ground units here. Nope, a bunch of capital ships. Close though. Hmm. I don't like this fleet for this. Preparing for 
We'll drop this fleet on Duro. And then we'll keep a fleet on Vulpter and on Humberine. The Humberine fleet will probably actually send to Kuat. Yeah. So this will be our first go with this fleet. Hunk of junk, lead the way. Don't live up to your name. All right, Kuat, you are disappointing me. I'll have to check what the name... No, Double the Providence of the Fun is a, one of the two Dreadnoughts. So we're going to see now. Yeah, these two, okay. I was just getting the names wrong. So Kid and Emoidia, and yeah, there we go. Double the Providence of the Fun and uh, probably not buildable in-game. I got those reversed there, but they are in. Visible uh, Hand, Intensify Forward Firepower. We've got all of our Dreadnoughts in this fleet. We can probably split them up a bit better. Depredator of the Core living up to its name and dodge this. All right, this is probably enough. They don't have more hard points right now that are targetable, uh, and they use the same models. That'll probably change eventually, uh, but they do have much better hard points. Uh, the Providence as a whole needs a remodel, but uh, there will be some visual differences between the the Dreadnought versions of each and their regular versions. Oh, this is just sad for you, Venator. Technically, we should have trench now as well, but I'm gonna I'm gonna hold off on trench for this one. We won't be using him. All right, that is a lot of shipyards we've taken from them. Uh, let's get Pride of the Canucks, and we can send him over to Forrest. I think this fleet going for, uh, yeah. You're going to go up to here. And, all right, here, let's get Murder of Mandalores, code user in, the gun ray, my droid or a ship. That just leaves us with six of them there. And then I'll start building, once we have all the... Uh, patron units. I'll start building some of the uh, some of the newer units that are less commonly requested, but that I also want to get some use in for this. All right, this fleet. Nope. Go to Fondor. So whatever we're building right now is just going to get put together with uh, the stuff being built at Vulpter. And that'll just be our last uh, last set of ships here. Let's get Thunderchild back. Actually, no. Let's get Shadow of Intent queued first. And we'll put Thunderchild in the next, next round of funding of investments here. All right, let's see how a bunch of Dreadnoughts handle their capital ships. The balancing is probably super off on the Dreadnoughts right now in general. Uh, we can probably fit a lot more in the battle than we should be able to, but I'm going to go with it. All right, first let's get Cato Neomoidia to tank. Uh, then on this side we'll get probably not buildable in game. Double the Providence, double the fun there. Visible hand here. Intensify. Let's let those get in. Dodge this in Depredator of the Core. Reporting. 
All right, and we'll support them with munificence. Uh, ooh, ooh. Camp Jupiter. Beep boop. And magnanimous. As long as I wasn't giving them too much credit. Okay, this. An acclimator got away. Oh, they still have more Praetors to come in. Kater Nemoidia is just being a good tank for us right now, but it's taking a lot of damage. Uh, let's see if we can kill shields on one of the Praetors. And Coruscant Sky, you are going to duel with Dodge this. Intensify forward. Firepower, you should help Dodge this, actually. And Depredator... Hit those engines. There you go. Tractor beam render bug. Thanks, EAW. If we can somehow kill this stuff before it kills our Lucre Hulk, uh, then we win. I mean, that may sound like it's obvious that we win if we kill all their stuff, but it's not always so. We are actually going to lose Dodge this, getting focused down by two Praetors, which is understandable, but still sad. They're quite cheap, which is one of the biggest imbalances with them right now. But still prefer not to lose. Jesus, what are you doing? You're not supposed to have this many. Uh, okay, maybe the Venator first. Okay, we may need to do a little bit more building than I'd hoped. And... Can we get the bombers to go take out the station? Just quickly. We are probably going to lose Kater Nemoidia. Uh, where's the bombers coming from? Right there, that's it? Yeah, I think that's it. If we can force them into a tree. <laughs> Probably don't want more than a couple of these per fleet, the Dreadnoughts. I have to split up our forces better. Uh, I wasn't aware of how many Praetors they had. I think that's actually four. Get in there. We're going to destroy the station, then we're going to retreat if they don't immediately retreat themselves. All 
Are they retreating? No. That was not good. Didn't kill any of the Praetors, but we lost a lot of shit. That is a slight delay that it's going to put on us. Uh, but we're going to just make them guard Duro. So, we've got time. And we'll probably have to redistribute some of those fleets. About to invade Kashyyyk, that is acceptable to me. All right, you guys go here, but that is going to do it for today's episode. So thanks for watching, everyone. We've probably only got one or two episodes left in the series. Uh, so I'm actually going to have the Republic ship request going up. And I think the last episode that we do uh, will probably be a fairly long one. I don't think we're going to do uh, all the ground invasions. Uh, we'll just get rid of most, if not all, the space stuff and then... Uh, go from there. Uh, and it'll probably be a small map we play with our final... Uh, with our, or rather, not our final playthrough, but our final playthrough during the beta, which will be our uh, upcoming Republic one. So, hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.